Hello, internet. We got this little stream avatars thing going. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but you can see him sort of wandering around over there. I don't think I like it. Maybe my opinion will change by the end of the stream. Anyway, uh, it's time to go catch some more tuna. One more day of tuna catching. That might be worth buying. Okay, let's go catch some uh, tuna and some other assorted large fish. And then we can work on... Ooh, he's ugly. Sheep's head. So first, Ruben, your little guy has to spawn. Oh, there he is. Yo, we got avatars. And y'all very quickly started customizing them. That's good. Um... I gotta figure out a way to set up my monitors so I can see what your avatars are doing. I just caught some stupid cardinal fish. It's okay, we got two of these. Seen. Electron didn't customize his, it was just given to him this way. Interesting. See, this can be part of a problem, is... I don't know... It's gonna be like a thing for me to have to mix... To read your chats when they're mixed in with all these, like, commands from the... Ooh, baseball bat. Oh, they got a star. Yeah, I think if you type exclamation point jump, you can make that star bounce around. Yeah, there's a lot more to uh, do with this whole system. But I figured I'd get it going now. Decide if I really don't want it later. Unpuff. I dare you. Color red. Did that change your red? You can also use a pop-up extension. Yeah, there's... At least an extension in my About page. I don't know if you guys can, like, click on something on the side of the screen to get that to go. Why don't we try shooting these tuna? Maybe now we can catch them. What's up? Uh, we got this stream avatar thing for you guys to play with. Whoops. I also don't know where to find these Harlequin Hinds or any of these other fish that we need for, uh... If you're on mobile, there's a little button with the letters S-A at the top right above the chat button on stream. I'm going to stop abusing these fish. Attack me. Did it attack me?
I guess we just start catching all the fish that I don't know what they are at sight. Trigger fish. That's not a harlequin hind. What's this guy? I think I've caught one of them before. Oh, that just murdered it. Green humphead parrotfish. Nope. If you're on PC, just scroll down a little and the extension should come up. Well, thanks for, you know, being someone who actually knows how these things work. Uh, because I don't. That's a... Orbicular batfish. We're just going to catch random things until we find the uh, two... Well, you're not whatever we're looking for. Harlequin hind or coral trout. Usually when you think trout, you think like... It can do roll commands? Huh. Anyway, usually when you think trout, you think freshwater. Oop, seahorse. How my own weight? Pretty good still. Uh, I'm only catching you, so you don't attack me later. What are you? Are you a trout? Nope, he's a painted comber. We probably should have been catching more just random fish this whole time. Dusky grouper. That's not what we're looking for. Shrimp's not what we're looking for, but I'm going to get it anyway. I'm running out of air. How am I running out of air? Whatever. I haven't been down that long. Row left. Oh, look at that. That's a shame. Waste my oxygen refill when I could have just grabbed this. That's a frogfish. Uh, how about you guys? Maybe you're a trout. Nope, that's a scad. This almost certainly isn't a trout. Oh, never mind, there we go. The game's being nice and showing me those little... This is what you want. Uh... Well, it was. So we're looking for, like, little bluefish things. I need to catch this one, because I've already injured it. It would be cruel not to. Ruben has food, but he will be back. I think your uh, little avatar guy earns money and stuff while you're gone, as long as you're, like, in the chat. But I don't know that for sure. There's something. These little red guys? Oh, never mind. We got everything we needed. That's why the little tr diamond disappeared off the top of its head. Bopker thinks it's a cool extension. I need to put some more work into making, like, custom hats and stuff for it. I can make it better. Let's see. 
probably don't need to fight that tiger shark. Last time I fought a tiger shark, it didn't go that great. Catch some more of you guys, since I already got one. It's more likely we can collect eggs from you and make you into farm fish. I was thinking about that this weekend, because I'm pretty sure I went by a very small scale fish farm. And just like, fish farming is so weird. You have to... Like, the fish that eat plants don't taste good, so you have to farm other fish to feed them to the fish that taste good. It'd be sort of like raising wolves for meat, but tastier wolves. a little overweight. I wonder if there's anything good in here now. So when you guys came in, your avatars just had this like randomly assigned stuff on them? I'm pretty sure that I start with everything possible to equip. And yet I also started with just the most basic of basic avatars that I had to turn blue. Barely got that coral trout. Electron doesn't know why he hasn't seen that before. What, my blue? Oh, I can't carry anymore. Oops. Uh, I guess I'm going now. That was an emergency exit, like, right next to the boat. As long as that shark doesn't kill me, we'll be okay. That shark is right, right where he needs to be to kill me. So we're going to try to find a different way out. Electron hasn't seen us start with randomized stuff before. I didn't mess around with the settings very much, so I don't know if that's like default behavior that people turn off normally. Or what? We're gonna have to swim all the way to the surface, aren't we? At least I took care of most of the hostile fish on the way. So we're not in any danger right now. I know I've got a button or something where I can make that star explode. Oh wait, these are dangerous. Just give him a wide berth. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Stay away from me, Tuna. There we go. Just slowly making our way all the way back to the surface, not worrying about getting the bins or anything like that. Oh yeah, also my avatar has like this little scarf thing that I accidentally put on him and I can't manage to get the program to take off. But I sort of think of it as like an extra pair of legs, so it's okay. 
I really need to make like a crab claw thing you can hold in your hands. Use as ingredient or keep in inventory. Dave will be carrying racing seahorses in the inventory. Visit the Sea People Village Register for a race. Yeah, I want him in the inventory. What button do I do for that? Oh, control. Okay. We got some black tiger shrimp row. I guess I need to check on my fish now. See if we've got too many of any of them. And then we gotta head down to the, uh... Sea people. And see if any of them have figured out that they've got a problem I need to solve. So we can send some of these trigger fish, definitely, to the kitchen. Or maybe I should wait until tomorrow. Nah. out there. Electron with one more port, he can buy Orpal. He can buy Orpal. He'll get that P eventually. That didn't sound right. Uh, let's get rid of the... He is now Orpal. I can see that at least. Yeah, why don't I... Hang on. Scoot this window over a little bit. There, now I can see your uh, avatars doing stuff. Let's just sell these. There are gonna be some row, they'll hatch soon, and then he can breed, it'll be nice. He waves. Oh, there you go. That's cute. Wait, do you fly? Or is that just a jump? I'm not sure how he's jumping like that. Okay, back to the Sea People City. See if we can get anything accomplished there. The sling action. I don't know how to do this, um, not manually, but I can also, like, get bombs. And go boop. I gotta manage my windows again. Alright. Let's go see if any sea people have figured out a problem they've got that I can solve. Aha! Just had to wait a day. It's a restaurant, and they'll always have problems. Because a restaurant's not a good business venture. Oh no. What is it, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Oh no, indeed. I'm gonna have to go get it, aren't I? Could you venture into the depths for me? The three face by Miku? Yep, been here this whole time. Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping. Ha ha ha. I need tube coral, which looks like this. You'll probably find it near whale bones. 
do help me out. Is there such thing as deep sea coral? Hmm. Whale bones, I think I've seen them before. Oh, there's other people with problems, but let's go deal with the whale bones first. Unless they also need me to go on the depths, then two birds, one stone, right? Oh, and I can turn in this uh, seahorse. That would be a good plan. Can I do something with this giant statue? Because otherwise, why would it show up on the map like this? What to do? Hmm? Kids, what's going on? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a mega mouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball. Mega mouth? You mean the huge. Yes, can you get it back for us, human? Uh, it looked really scary. And then they turn on the waterworks underwater somehow. Oh, right. Did you just punch my guy? I just saw my uh, little avatar dude go flipping off into space. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. Kill a shark. I mean, find the children's ball. Oh, the blacksmith wants to talk to me. That means we can actually talk and not just be like, a human. <laughs> Oh, he's sick from breathing in all this underwater smoke all the time. Um, are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business. Um, you look very ill. There I go again. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Ramo had asked me to bring this before. Lies. Humans can't be trusted. Um, well, looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Bancho to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? Can viewers add currency to their avatars? I don't know. But I can do this, and y'all can fight for it. Trying to watch the battle royale as I swim over to the casino. Okay, this doesn't seem fair. I think I'm the strongest. You don't look well. Is something wrong? Oh, human. Um, my cute Selgio has disappeared. Sir, Selgio. Yes, he's my purple pet squid. He was gone when I woke up. Well, he's just appeared before. He followed the shining jellyfish. Yeah, that didn't seem fair that I won. Oh no. A shining jellyfish. Human, can you find Selgio for me? He's timid, but put this high quality food nearby when he's calm to lure him. Got it, I'll try luring him with the food. Can go register this seahorse real quick. There, he's in now. He's not very good. Background. What's that do? I mean, I know I can set up background pieces. Yeah, I think some of those commands are on the list, but only I can do them. Like, 
you can try to do the battle royale, but I'm pretty sure that's set up so that only I can set those up, or start those. Yeah, maybe it's a mod command. Those hearts are probably, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're a uh, equipment piece that you just randomly got assigned. You can gift stuff to viewers. Yeah, I think I can. If I really want to. Can you guys see stuff before you buy it, though? I don't really know how the shop interface on the little widget works. You can with the extension. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Reuben has returned. Welcome back. Hello, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Please inform me about the things I missed. Um, We caught the fish we need for not Michael Bay. And then I had to swim from the bottom all the way back up to the top because I couldn't find an escape pod that wasn't right next to a shark. Oh, and we found some more people in the Sea People Village who need our help. I guess we just needed to wait a day. Is this little girl, like, in charge of this temple? Ah, I heard from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. About the puppets. About the stream avatar things? Uh, hang on. Oh, that's, those are bombs. I, I still have bombs selected. Uh, I was going to grab them, but I forget which button that is. There we go. About, about these guys? Is that what you're asking about? You should try the command boss easy 500. Sure, why not? That'll get you guys something to fight. Gotta copy paste that real quick. And then hopefully I'm not the one who wins this time. You have 60 seconds to type join. Yeah, I just won't type join, then you guys can fight it out without me. <sighs> That's how it is for now. Hmm, in that case, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, mm, that sounds like a big deal. But how can I help you with something like that? Yeah. You gotta choose a class when you choose join. I see. In the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the sea people. Record chamber. Is this a boy? There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. We already found that stone slate, and we brought it to the surface. And I guess you guys are fighting a pumpkin king now. Neat. He's fairly large. Um, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. All right, I'll bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. So how's that fight going? Y'all winning? Doesn't look like you are. Hang on, where did these NPC bots come from? Do we not have enough people? Is the game taking pity on my small audience and giving them assistance?
That NPC bot's almost half dead. All right, so we're looking for like three different kind, four different kinds of coral. We're looking for coral. Ooh, fire breath, neat. Is gun any good? Enhancement kit. We'll take it. Oh, is electron? He's on fire now. That's probably not good. Hey. Oh, hey, it's the shining jellyfish. Mm. Maybe following the jellyfish will lead us to Lycan's pet squid. Or we'll get attacked by something. Who knows? Are we following this jellyfish, or are we scaring it off? Mm. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball and also swallowed me. I don't want to fight it. All right, well, we need that. I need a longer range weapon if I'm gonna fight that stupid. Mm. There's a small hole here. Maybe it's in here. Let's try using the flashlight. There he is. Huh? I think I saw Lin Chen's pet squid. <laughs> when will Ruben get a turn? I don't know how this thing works. Come on, pet squid, where are you? It looks like a flapjack octopus, really, not like a squid. Uh, there you are. Okay, I'm sure it's inside. Should I check on it? I mean, I suppose to put out, like, fish food to lure it out, right? You guys haven't done much damage to that boss yet, have you? Oh, never mind, I can see now. He's, like, almost half health. I really should be looking for the octopus more than looking at the boss battle. Mm. It seems to have calmed down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. Mm. Let's try putting high quality food here that Lin Shin gave us. Maybe we have to open it like this? Ah. Ruben is failing badly. As long as you guys are alive, you can still beat the boss somehow, I think. It's supposed to be an easy boss, right? There. I should use the bug net to catch it. Great. Now let's take the squid to... Lean Chen. But not the food. We're gonna leave the food here. We're gonna shoot that shark. We just gotta get it to like a choke point. Okay, it hasn't killed me yet. And it's dead. Now we'll just send that back up with the submersible. Hopefully it doesn't explode on the way up. Now we just need to find the coral. Oh, you guys are making some progress on the boss. But how are your health doing? 
Are you all okay? I think that the Electron just got smited by the boss, huh? Smote. Smoten. In smited. That would have helped to, you know, have a booster thing. Is this part of that one? Yeah, that guy. Let's try not going up this way. If we can help it. Okay, so Ruben's doing a good job healing, I guess. <laughs> you shall not die! We can just use our regular... Harpoon, I hope. against these jellyfish. Maybe not so much against the cookie cutter shark. Wait, I can just catch it? Okay, so y'all defeated the boss, and everyone gets 500 gold. Enjoy your uh, new costumes, I guess. How am I doing on weight? Fairly good. Try to kill this explosive guy from a distance. There he goes. Totally missed there. Despite it being just, you know, click on the jellyfish. Okay, weight-wise, we're still fine. We could use a little oxygen. And there's a little oxygen. Oh, right, we still need to find those whale bones. There's no perchable items for Reuben. Aw. Wait, are those prices in, like, actual U.S. dollars? Like, does this app want you guys to spend money on it? I think Ruben's on an iPad. Getting a whole lot of comb jelly. Oh, no. That wasn't great. iPad counts as mobile, maybe. Oh, actually, the room is on a laptop. Never mind, then. So we should be able to go to my about page or just scroll down a little bit from the stream and see a little widget thing that he can buy stuff with. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Okay, so here's where I put that 
bait. So we gotta go through. We actually have to go through this section if we want to find the uh, whale bones. Oh, I don't want to do that. Whatever, do what you gotta do. Oh, wait, no, this works. There we go. Went up and over. Is it just me or is a deep sea area not actually randomized? Burdens. Turmeric. So we may be overburdened, but we also found those kids' ball. We can look a little bit more. I'm not looking a little bit more. Let's just get this done. So I could go through there, it's a little bit more direct path, but I've already cleared this path. So let's just take it. Oh, I'm already out of scooter, whoops. Wait, Vopker's got a... Is that a Splatoon ink tank? When I was digging through the shop, I didn't see any Splatoon bits, but... Okay, that's good. That means I don't have to go looking for Splatoon bits to add to the uh, palette of things you guys can buy, if they're already there. Also explains why when I searched for Splatoon stuff on the um, Steam page, I didn't find anything. There's inkling hairs in the hat section. Well, that's great. Yeah. So I don't have to add that. Perfect. Though I do need to add a... Um, I still need to add crab claws so I can, you know, look like me. Not really sure how the, uh... How the, like, sprite sheet system works. It's supposed to be pretty simple, though. They're all the Splatoon 1 female hairstyle. Well, that is the most iconic. Like, that is the hairstyle you think of when you think Splatoon. Wow, it's the ball. You really brought it back for us and didn't just go to the store and buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it was real scary. I've had bad times with those sharks. Mm -hmm. You kids stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. <laughs> I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike we were told. <laughs> Hope to see you again, human. <laughs> okay. We've almost got enough, uh... Why to start raining bombs? Thanks for the raid, though, uh, pleb. That's a lot of bombs. An origin story posted an up-down cat-looking thing? 
When a raid happens, it rains bombs. I see. Oh, Selgio. Thank you, human. I was afraid I'd never see my pet again. It was difficult to bring your pet here. Ha ha, I'll make sure this never happens again. Howdy, pleb. How was your stream? Here's a small gift for you. Selgio's portrait. Um, hmm. I'll hang it up in the restaurant. Thank you. Those bombs are sick. It's a cool idea. Makes things a little bit more exciting, sure. Please drop by the casino from time to time, human. We got a portrait of Selgio the Deep Sea Squid. That doesn't look like a squid. He looks like an octopus, but... Oh. Zine Bess is a fan of this game. I am... I'm trying to beat this game. I probably should have just played it not on stream. Am I allowed to watch the stream in the shower? That's a you question, but you don't need my permission. I saw on the internet the other day this like shower curtain that you can put your iPad and your phone into so that you can still use them while you shower. It has little waterproof pockets. What is Tenzin's deal? An origin story needs that to watch streams. How long do you stay in the shower? That was a personal question. I shouldn't have asked that. It seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but we could use all the help we can get right now. There's an in zap. That's cool. I mean, it is basically just like a Nintendo gun. Ruben's laptop does not like dark mode, so we can't see the thing that clearly. The stream avatars widget? I'm just gonna keep reading this. Uh, let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yeah. It was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the Divine Tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. That's neat. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. I'm surprised you guys know that, but then again you have teleporting mirrors, so I guess you're smarter than I am. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there is a giant glacier under this tree. That is, under our village. A glacier on the sea bottom? I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. Okay, so this isn't a global warming thing. This is not human's fault yet. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but... But we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we've relied on only agriculture for so long, we don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down there, embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that that is now our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacial area below the village for us? Uh, that sounds very dangerous, but all right. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll be sure to recompense you somehow. With our fish people money, probably. Oh hey, Ruben's red now. He looks like a little communist. That's probably more offensive in Europe. Uh, now then, you'll need the key down to the glacial passage. The key... Where's the key? 
This is a very reliable monarch, isn't he? Why can't you have two shields? I don't know. That does seem like a bit of an oversight. Tenzin. When we sealed the Glacial Passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh, hi, Elite 802. Thanks for the follow. What abandoned cave? Oh dear, you're right. I sense something is not right again. Human, go and get the keys to the Glacial Passage from the abandoned cave. Ruben has two shields now? Oh, wait. Nice. I see. And Vopker seems to have found a Meta Knight mask to go with his uh, Splatoon ink tank. It's quite a combination. Again, why can't we have more Nintendo references in Splatoon? Everyone seems to love the... Uh, what are they called? The Inklings. The, the, the fake Inklings in Side Order. Intensifying Harmony. Whatever it's called. People like that mask. Why can't we have a Meta Knight mask? It'd be very similar. The Electron also has an ink tank. Uh, oh, there you are. Parallel Cannon. Thank you. Okay, Swamp's gonna take me to this abandoned cave. It's not dangerous, is it? Ha, you're underwater, Dave. Everything is dangerous down here. Ha <laughs> ha, nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured in there for a hundred years. Anyways, we need to find out what's going on in the glacial zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. If ordered when we play as Agent 4. That would have been interesting. Because, like, Agent 8 is sort of the official DLC character now. They probably won't show up in Splatoon 4, but... It's happened twice. So, there, it's got... Agent 8 has that going for them. They got to be the protagonist two times. Okay, so Swamp's gonna kick me out of the village. I guess the villagers don't know how terrible humans can be. Remember that I'm watching you, human. Be on your best behavior. Or best be on your best behavior. Okay. So I guess we're done for now. In the village, we can go back up to the surface. I don't really want to swim all the way up to find the record chamber. Where's the mirror again? The mirror that gets me out of here? Agent 8 was on the other side of the final fest poster while Agent 4 was on the chaos side. Because the losing team got the DLC, I think Agent 4 would win the character of the chaos DLC. Who knows? For all we know, it was rigged from the start. Got all this mega mouth shark meat. So it's not a basking shark. That's why it tried to eat me, because it's not a basking shark. It's a mega mouth shark. It's its own thing. Oh, that's quite a little party they got going over there. Ruben got a blobfish face? Oh, where is he? He's standing behind Electron right now. There it is! Perfect. Sir, I am ready to take pictures of manta rays. I hired some lighting guys and made them set up lighting fixtures in the right places. Oh, you must have spent some money. Haha, <laughs> -ha, one can't pass my opportunity like this. They told me that the lighting fixture set at a depth of 20 meters. Can you please check them out? I expect awesome pictures then. But we got a lot of money to make. Like, we need to sell this tuna today. He can wait until tomorrow. Why is his voice in constant auto-tune?
I was watching other VTubers to find ideas to steal, and that's a lot of Titan trigger fish meat. And uh, this one lady had a voice. She had a points reward where you could make her voice auto tuned, and it was kind of cool the first time. And then after like 10 minutes of people constantly uh, using that points reward, it got really, really annoying. Hang on a second, there's a Gundam that's been slowly shifting off the shelf, and I'm afraid it's gonna fall down if I don't do something right now. Okay, here we go, I got you. All right, he's back, he's back safely on the shelf. One of his feet was sort of precariously off the corner. Anyway, today is the tuna day. So we're gonna serve a bunch of tuna. Sort by price, because that's where the tuna is. We got a robot so we can kinda do it. It's always monotone, like juice. I'm not that monotone. Uh, we can make this a little better. I can afford that. There's an inzap and avatars. Where? It's probably one of the hand things. Like with the knives. Or the shields. What has Ruben got on his back now? Oh, that makes it work too. We're not gonna sell that many of these today. I'm gonna be a little wasteful, put 20 of these on. Let's see, yellowfin. We don't have as many of these. We got a lot of chew toto. One twenty-five. Let's try enhancing this. See how it looks afterwards. Costs a little bit more. That's worth it. Okay, we'll put 20 of these on the menu. I feel so wasteful putting 20 on the menu. Like, we're not going to sell 40 servings of tuna today, are we? This can just go as it is. What else we got? Trevally? We're not selling Trevally today. We're trying to sell tuna. So Ruben has a spike shield on his back. Neat. Did I miss this accept? Will I automatically fight? Okay, I'm automatically fighting, so we're good. Let's see, that's technically tuna. we can make it a little better and then just throw all of that throw all of that on the menu we gotta have one thing that's not tuna today or do we blue fin tuna akami oh electron won our fight One more can't hurt. Okay, so it's all tuna all the time tonight. Sad there's not a shield hat. I'm not sure how I would make that. Like, what would a shield hat look like? Yeah. 
So some of these tuna dishes I put on the menu just aren't actually tuna. Sorry, lady. I'm just not gonna get to you. You don't get a beer. I'm cutting you off. Alright. Perfect. Good, sorry. How much money we make? Just a rotated a shield like on your head? We made a lot of money today. That that's way more money than we've made so far. That just completely dwarfed all of our other sales ever. Nice, 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 nice. Wasted a lot of tuna, probably, but... It's a long robe, becoming a great master. Oh, we're in, uh... What is this guy's name again? I haven't seen him for a while. Just surrounded by anime girls. Living the dream. Ever since Electron did the hug command, there's been hearts emanating from me. What is this? Is our gun guy getting abducted by aliens? This is really kind of out of nowhere, isn't it? What? 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 Huh? A live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high icon reaches the cursor, press both buttons? Use the mouse to move the hand up and down to hit the green note. When an orange note appears, shake the mouse left and right for applause. Um, okay. I do not have a lot of room for my mouse right now. But we're going to try to do good by Duff. Hi, 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 hi. I used to play DDR a lot, actually. This is not DDR. I'm being a little distracted by the anime on the uh, screen. Hi, 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 hi.
Thanks for dancing along, Ruben. What was that? Do I want to play more? Kinda. Do they have more songs? Uh, no, we're gonna keep this. Uh, we're gonna do it one more time. Maybe if you hug someone else, the hearts will go away. Yeah, maybe they're contagious. Nah, it's just one song. It's really not that picky about where your mouse is. Who did this animation? Yeah, it's not as picky when you're doing the ups and downs, but when it's straight... Like, this is pretty easy, but... Did I give it a score? I better get a lot better score, since I knew what I was doing this time. I only got a thousand more points. Ruben's Wi-Fi didn't want him to hug the crab. <laughs> I got a hundred more points than last time. I thought I did a lot better. Fine. We're done. And this is how Duff dies in his sleep. He wouldn't want it any other way. Never mind. Poor little guy. A new mobile game called Laze Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. What? Thunderstorm. We should probably not be diving in a thunderstorm. By the way... Tenzin asked me to bring him the glacier passage key. I must return to the Elder's place in the Sea People's Village. There's a farming report. Um, where's the bomb thing? Sorry, I'm dropping bombs on all of you for some reason. I think that's what the people want. There they go. Okay, so there's a farm report, so let's go check on that real quick. See if we got our rice. Bopkers won five from the jump catch game. <laughs> Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. <laughs> sushi made with Anam rice isn't really original sushi. Haha. -ha. There don't seem to be any weeds or anything. So I don't know what our farm reports, but oh wait, maybe it's on my phone. Burp, 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 burp. Farm now. No harvestable farm yet. Or harvestable rice yet. I 
I could have just checked my phone. Electron was coming for it and a bomb flung Vokker into it. My bad, question mark? Right, let's go fight some uh, whatever's in this abandoned cave. Because we know it's going to be a fight. Sling, 45 bombs. Quote, add, wow. What does that do? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people storage. Must be a mod commands, I guess. The glacier passage key is in that place. Swam will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Swam, the great warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Doesn't that door we've seen a bunch of times... Were no, no, no. This one's actually pretty deep down. It's like right outside the village. Here, human. Go bring me the glacier passage key. Mm. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? You can add quotes to a list, and then when you send quote, it plays a random quote. Or you can request a specific one by requesting a specific quote number. There's one more thing I gotta get set up. I'm gonna copy that real quick, Electron, just to maybe make a reminder. That might be what I do on Wednesday, is just mess around with this program and try to make it better. Oh. Hmm, I am not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up in somewhere, though. Uh, I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. Oh. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Okay. Um, I am nervous. Are you coming with me? I am the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? Jeez, how was your day? Mine was fine. And not normal. Um, I haven't done much. I didn't even go for a walk this morning. I just kind of did some studying, watched a uh, video about dropping tungsten rods from orbit. The usual kind of boring stuff. Tried to uh, farm for engagement on Blue Sky. Anyway, I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human. I mean, I guess I'm ready now. I'm not gonna get any more ready. I could swim over to the village and maybe pick up a weapon upgrade kit. It's kind of a bad use of my time, honestly, but... Make my bullets do more damage, right? It's weird that it's added a roll thing. You would think that'd be something that just... Oh. Lightning harpoon tip. I'll take it. Won't be exactly happy about it, but I like the minigame and the lightning better than the shock anyway. Ruben went to a different school today to see how next year will be, and the rumors were true. They are more civilized. Good rumors. All right, Swam, let's do this. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do this. You are gonna stay out here. I am ready. Roll 20 D4s. Ow, it's cold. 
Hmm. It keeps me deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. This looks like a dungeon. Like, a dungeon you keep prisoners in. And that's a sea people zombie. This seems bad. What a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. They're not beasts like I'm used to. I wonder if you can play a... text something. The text RPG. Uh, tabletop? Tabletop RPG with chat. What's that program called? There's a... Uh... Like that virtual tabletop program that some people use to play D&D. &D. But I think everyone else has a copy of it to play. Is he referring to the students or the teachers as beasts? Probably the students. Roll 20, yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I don't want them to get anywhere near me. Holy cow, what was that? The ancient sea people Swam talked about? They're still alive and eating sea breams, apparently. It's fortunate they are still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. Well, we saw the one that was over here. I guess he's still in a cell. Uh, this just became a horror game. I am slightly about this. That's a trap. Yep, yep, I'm scared now. Like, this is the worst possible kind of cave diving you could do. Cave diving's already dangerous. And then we're gonna just, like, go ahead and do it in an ancient prison. And that mural is hopefully the one we're looking for. But it... I don't like that X. That's... yeah. Kind of indicating that there's either an exit over there or a broken cage or something like that. And we're gonna play a game in D&D. &D. Ruben wants a voice changer to voice call. Also, yeah, Electron brings up a good point. If you're going to this new school, the students that are with you now are also going to be going over there. Mm. The upperclassmen can sort of set the tone a little bit, but eventually they get replaced by, you know, your class. So who knows what the future will hold? Maybe you guys will ruin that school. Or not. Let's be positive. You'll probably get more... Your classmates will probably get more mature, right? over the last couple years of compulsory education. This picture seems to imply something. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh! We gotta stack rocks. That's not too bad. Oh, these are different shapes, actually. I thought they were both round, but actually this is a circle and that's a square. Not quite as ominous as I thought it was. Succeeded his death save. Who did? Oh, Ruben's rolling to see if Dave dies. He's not dead yet, but 
Uh, I don't want to play with those mummies. I hope that that's the key. We can get out now. The device. That must be the glacier passage key. What a creepy place. I better pick up the key and quickly leave. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? We're gonna have an earthquake and it's gonna break those cells. And I don't have any way of going fast. Oh man. Let me out. Let me out of here. Another earthquake. The eight ball said after I asked Dave was going to die. It is decidedly so. So Ruben rolled a save to bring him back. Uh, well, we're not dead yet. I heard something crumbling. Oh no. Deliver the key to Tenzin. Don't get eaten by the zombies. And it's a zombie. I don't like this. Somehow... He breathes a sigh of relief underwater. <laughs> Whatever. No, the exit's blocked. That zombie is a little stupid. He might be a little blind, you know, having been locked in this dark cave for 1,000 to 100 to 1,300 years, or who knows? The sea people seem a little bit um, unclear on the timeline themselves. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Godon is the name of ancient sea people who are mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. That's why they had a purple diamond over them. Can they see down though? They don't seem to be able to see down. Well, that one's in the way. Um, I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. This is a brilliant plan of mine. Hide behind stone statues to avoid being seen by Godon. Use the stone statue when you're in danger. Ah, look at him peeking out from behind it. It didn't see me, right? Yeah, I don't like this. I so don't like this. dead end. I think this is a dead end. Uh, imagine someone had to do this IRL. Yeah, this is, I mean, cave diving is one of the most dangerous things you can do. And now we're cave diving with zombies in it. So, yeah, this is pretty bad. But 
but I think we're almost out. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, stop, no, no. There's a bunch of cave zombies coming after me. Swam, we need to get out of here. Electrons won five from the jump catch game. Bah, I knew Swam was not going to wait for me. Anyway, anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to... Wah. Huh. Dude, this is not a good time, John Watson. Wait! You're robbing graves now? As if destroying the environment was not enough. They're pretty different kinds of bad things, John Watson. Huh? That is the sea people's. Be quiet. Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with sea blue. When do they got this game's OSD on vinyl? It's chip tunes. Vinyl wouldn't make any difference. Whatever, it's so fun. There were people outside of uh, Ruben's school that was bigger than he's used to. Is it like in a city now? And the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 and its power. No, 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 what the- Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. You are an environmental disaster. Okay, hopefully that just closed the entrance and those sea people are locked in there forever and they're not going to come out after me. Undertale and Deltarune vinyls? What makes this game different? Good points. You're going to pay now. I don't see how I fight a robot. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Huh? The missiles are slowing down. Yeah, says the guy who deploys missiles underwater. If only I could direct it at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Whoa, 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 whoa! That took all my oxygen. And I'm dead. Oh, they just make me restart the fight. That's not so bad. Do I need to redirect the missiles? Like, that looks like it hurt him. Gotta be a little harder to deflect the missiles here, though. Ah, you got me. I think I just skewed out of the way of that attack. Ugh. 
mean, it's possible there's like a baseball bat or something in this. Perfect. Perfect. Ugh. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Come on, keep firing that hyper blaster at me. Bonk! Oh, you mad now? What? Well, that nearly killed me. And I'm dead. Or he's dead. Nope. Come on. Just gonna leave those where they are. Perfect. Got him. Second. No, first time. They just say, as far as anyone's concerned, this is a f Ooh, he's, he's got a little flooding issue there. If water's getting in the suit at this pressure, that should be really, really dangerous. Like, it should immediately fill his suit. Uh, but we're gonna just ignore physics, because that's what this game does a lot. My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you destroying nature. Blah, 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 blah. People are watching you. Blah, 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 blah. Sure, that's, yeah, this is, it's just a cartoon. Don't ask too many questions. You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving armor. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. I think I still got a... What do you call it? A drone I can send? Never mind. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. Time to deliver the glacier passage key to Tenzin. One shot it. Yeah, just took four missiles and figuring out that I can use a baseball bat. It's not like he was gonna drown. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Except for those pirates that we shot. Um, but they didn't die. They swam away. They're probably fine. Okay, you actually brought me the glacier passage key. Swollen told me that he cleared the area, and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gaddens? Are they still alive? Gaddens? Hmm. This is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which do you want to hear, short? The Gardens are the corrupt sea people of ancient times. Blah, blah, blah. That's it? In short, yes. You want the longer version? Fine. Okay. Good. I'm going to tell you this origin story of the Gardens. Pretty. About 800 years ago, the Gaddens were the pinnacle of the were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. No, more history for Reuben to learn. Ah. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the depth of the sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. 
<laughs> However, there were always those who were blinded by greed. Dashi, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of these fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of sea people. He modified the body of your ancestors? Yes. It all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dasha was not satisfied with modifying the fruits. He wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. Oh look, some little anomalic heresies. And so, he began to infuse the energy extracted into an ancient creature called Yawi. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of his workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then, one day... The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their bodies turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So, they are the monsters I encountered earlier? Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gaddens, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. You know, he could have told me about these guys before I went into the abandoned cave. He was kind of acting like there was nothing going on in there. But clearly, he knew about these things being in that abandoned cave that he hid the key in. Electron just found out that Inscription had the soundtrack on vinyl and suddenly had a new need in his life. I haven't played that game. That's the one with like the wooden cards, right? In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago. I didn't even know the Gaddens were still alive. That means, maybe, some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. Oh god, no. And you're expecting me to go there? I beg you, the Sea People have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Oh, you managed to hug me? They're not wood, but yeah, it's a really good game, good story, good twists, made in soundtrack, highly recommended. Is it less than 10 hours long? Can I play it on the stream? Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Aw. And, oh, take this. It is my gift for you. Here, take this sea people's necklace. Wear this, and the tube worms and this deep sea will retreat. Electron beat it in maybe three days? Yeah, but that could have been three, like, 12-hour sessions, for all I know. You know, those dangerous worms that look like sticks? That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Swam to guide you to the entrance of the Glacial Passage. <laughs> Got the Sea People Necklace. They weren't 12 hour sessions. Okay, well. We can... do like a regular dive. Or we can see what these people want from me. There's an exclamation point down here somewhere on the map. <laughs> 11 hour sessions. Oh, this thing has. The bulletin board has bulletins on it now. Deep sea crabs keep destroying the edible corals. Can you defeat three? I'd like some. Small and pretty nautiluses. Could you get me three? 
I think analyzing the bones of past dead creatures all of a sudden cover the cause of the tremors. Please find some. Well, this one's easy. This one's kind of easy. But those bones are heavy. I don't want. I don't want to deal with this. Too much random chance involved. Where's the mirror again? Somewhere over here, right? Yeah, there it is. Questing. Google says it takes 12 hours in regular play, 24 hours to 100%. Also, Ruben has little heart things from hugging people. Nice. Reddit says it's six hours top if you just want to beat it straight up. So, yeah, that sounds like a streamable game then. Didn't obtain any fish. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this sprite yet. We got a lot of money now, so, uh... How about we upgrade this? Because we're probably going to need it. Maintains Dave's temperature underwater. Upgrades make Dave less visible to fish. Yeah. Could probably afford to have more weight we can carry, but more oxygen helps a lot. Yeah, let's just make it so we can carry more weight. Okay, I've spent most of my money now. Do we have anything we can turn in here? Yes. Now it wants... How do we have invasive fish that deep underwater? Need to find more random plants. Need to find some auger. Still looking for pink seashells. Starfish. Just need the orange ones. Whatever. Oh, I can see Vopker's in zap really well now. Oh yeah, mini games. Get as many gems as possible without getting caught by fans. Jump. Double jump. That was bad. So... It looks like I can double or triple jump even. Okay, that's that's enough of that. I don't think that's very productive. Electrons free from the hearts, and Ruben is not. It does seem that way. <laughs> Bopker looks old now. Got that little old man mustache. So... Oh, there we go. Upgrade. So upgrades for the triple axle. Quatra axle. Or flame, or tranquilizers. Or lightning.
I guess this is worth my money and stuff. You are the world's only space, is what that song was just saying. Right. Okay, so we have a better gun. Um, let's go dive into some very dangerous water. Just collect some fish. Some deeper, like, mid-sea fish. Emperor Angelfish. I guess we've caught one of those before. I still can't pick up these sea urchins, can I? Oh, never mind. The diving gloves make it so I can pick those up. Sea urchin sushi. Just the thought of it makes me drool. I've never had sea urchin sushi. It looks... Unappetizing. Guess I may as well collect these, though. Maybe we'll get some, uh, e interesting sushi. Sleepy Hammer. Uh, no thanks. We got enough red, we need orange. Uh... We need orange sea fish, starfish. Basic underwater rifle. Nah, taking you apart for scrap. Does the combo work? What combo? Hug bomb? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, this is a dangerous Trevally. Uh oh Uh, I guess we murdered it. Sheep's head meat. There is something dangerous underground here. Oh, right, it's a... Stingrays. Uh oh. Okay. It's dead now. Ruben's got to upgrade the uh, the ultimate blobfish as well, I guess. Uh, that's auger, right? We need that. Doing pretty good on weight still. 120 does not exist. Gonna refill our oxygen real quick. Let's try out a new gun on this shark. Because that's responsible. Let's get the uh, submersible to take him out. Any goodies here? 
cheap Japanese sword. We like our cheap Japanese swords here, though. Not sure why I'm collecting all these urchins. Oh, Electron, do you know how to transfer money between accounts? Between uh, avatars? Electron gave Ruben 120 gold. Nice. Just going down here collecting random stuff. Nope. I will stick with our random... Oops! Oops! I, I did not mean to shoot him. I still have my gun equipped and not my harpoon. Sleepy gun. I just picked it up so we can maybe get the schematics for it. Have I caught these guys before? Mm, nope, we've got them. We've collected them before. See, there's usually a shark around here somewhere. Are these guys tuna? No, they're Shivalis. Electron, wait, you have two accounts and you're trying to give the other one money? Yeah, Electron, uh, Ruben has the ultimate blobfish, and what is this? Oh, butt bones. Either Ultimate Blobfish or Ruben's main accounts are lurking here basically all the time. Lead. Bokker gave Ultimate Blobfish 150 gold. You guys got a lot of money, right, from uh, defeating that pumpkin guy? Saw Shark. Okay, just had to tap that with my right hand. Because my left hand's getting a little tired of hovering over the keyboard. You wouldn't think that would tire out your hand, but eventually it does. Maybe you would think that. I don't know. Shrimp. Just collecting a bunch of random stuff I don't normally get. And parts. You look like food. Ah yes, the Spanish mackerel. 
I do not want to catch that seahorse. I think we've got enough seahorses. Enhanced harpoon tip. Can't say no to that. Okay, we're getting a little bit weighed down. What if I just harpoon you? E. Yeah, that was a bad plan. That was not a good plan on my part. It saved ammo, but... Dave got hurt. Uh, orange sea stars when we need, right? Yeah. If I remember right, Barracuda actually doesn't taste that good in this game. Like, it doesn't have a very good quality sushi, but maybe I'm misremembering. And down in the depths. And there's already a Nautilus. Just need to catch three of these guys. So if we catch three of them, we have to go all the way back to the village to deliver them. Maybe we'll just keep them in our inventory. Like we did with the seahorses. We got a new secret weapon for you, Lister Bang Tooth Buddy. Stargazer. That thing's called a Stargazer. I could probably use more bullets. We really haven't done a lot of... Like, we've done one night dive. But they're gonna want us to do another night dive tonight for the manta rays. And I may as well go ahead and give the people what they want. Oh, <laughs> Ultimate Blobfish has got a fish hat now. Uh, what's this? So they still... Those quests did not go away. Probably need to try to find a way out of here at this point. I don't know what that shark is. Or is this a frilled shark? Frilled shark meat. And it can't carry anything else. Uh, I don't feel like figuring out what I want to drop for him. 
We just need to find an exit now. So why am I going deeper? Well, there's a possibility if we keep going deeper, we'll find that hole that we made. Grr. Okay, I gotta drop something to pick up this thing. Probably some rocks. Okay, let's drop this copper ore. Still can't pick up. Uh, we need to drop how much stuff? pick things up yet? Still can't pick things up. What's something fairly heavy but not useful? Uh, I don't want to really drop that mackerel. caught enough cuttlefish in the past. And the white trevally, whatever. Okay, now we can get that. That was too much effort. up for that too much effort. Gonna get an extra one of these guys. And now we're way down again, but not like too much. Uh, maybe we can get an extra bone? Ooh. Now we need to find another feather coral and we're good, but for now, let's just go. I think I'm going to blow off uh, the photography assignment again today. I don't really feel like doing that. Let's just serve some sushi and be dumb. I mean, technically, it's extremely dangerous for us to... Whoa. It's extremely dangerous for us to go diving in these conditions, isn't it? So probably shouldn't do it, just take a picture of a manta ray. A strong earthquake all of a sudden. The earthquakes are becoming more frequent and intense. I should check if Boncho Sushi's alright. Oh, hey, Sato. Whoa, the storm is getting rowdy. Tonight, the creature that gives the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't that excite you as a... Marika collector? Not really. Ho, ho! If you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diving skills were better. It's too bad. Then, I wish you luck. Ho ho ho. Nah, we're not doing that. I am not interested in that 
car. I am interested in seeing if Bancha Sushi's okay. Bancho, I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? I took some measures against earthquakes after it crumbled last time. But I am not sure for how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Dr. Bacon! I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were all right. Well, it looks like everyone's okay. Dave, what about the sea people business? Is there any problem? Um, the heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the Sea People Village. And many Sea People got sick because of that. Because fish are very picky about their water temperatures. Because they can't really thermoregulate. Except the ones that can, and the ones that aren't. Everyone's here. It's the ultimate crossover. Except we don't have uh, Duff yet. He needs to show up. To identify the cause, I need to go down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate, but it seems there are eerie monsters down there, and I don't feel safe. Ah, that sounds like trouble, Dave. Sure, that's one way you can respond to, I gotta go fight ancient sea people mummies. According to the ancient records, sea people are very susceptible to temperature change. You should go down to the glacial area ASAP and find out what's happening there. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself for the sea people, even if it means getting frozen. Eh, yeah, Dave doesn't look too uh, enthusiastic about that idea. Uh, excuse me? Never mind, we can worry about that tomorrow. Today we feast and have a fun, lucky time. Okay. I mean, you're, you're still paying, right? Can I teach any of these people, like, skills? Training. Oh! We can make it so she's competent. Uh, yeah, we should do that. If we train her more, she learns drink serving. And gets really good at it. I, I told you, I told you guys that the ninja was gonna get good if we just keep her around. Look at how good she can get now. Well, let's try to train someone else. Uh, Kyoko. Gordon Ramsay? Where do we get Gordon Ramsay to train her staff? Oh wait, what sh she can also learn drink serving if we train her. Okay. That's actually relevant for her since she's a server and not a cook. We're spending a lot of money on training tonight. Wow, his stats go up a lot. I'm not sure who she's a parody of. Ingredient Prep Master. 10% chance of increasing the number of plates. So I think we're gonna have to swap Raul and Itsuki. I remove and remove, then I can select Raul for the kitchen and eat the key for helping me serve drinks. And now we're gonna do way better. And let's not forget about Carolina. She can refill the wasabi. I don't know if that needs to be in the kitchen or not, but 
That will help a lot. How did I not notice this menu before? Um, okay, so our staff is good now. Price. Okay. Yellowfin Akami. Yeah, let's make it a little better. Snap. Okay, now we can put this on the menu. Just put like 10 of them out there. Got a lot of stingray meat. Costs a lot, it doesn't taste very good. That'll make it taste acceptable. This will make it taste good. All right, what else are we gonna put on there that we just got for filler? Chambered Nautilus, Triggerfish. We got tons of them. This this are this is our new like great deal on the menu. It's triggerfish. Maybe not twenty. Okay, well, let's get this uh let's get this evening's dining done. And then I guess I'll call it a day on the game. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, Dr. Bacon. Here's your beer, sir. Okay, I didn't do a great job, but... Keep the wasabi topped up. Oh no, they're on the other side of the map! There we go. Again, I was totally right to hire that ninja. Uh... Are we almost done? How do we do? How much money we earned today? Not as good as the tuna night, but still better. We're still improving. Mission failed, stormy night. I don't care. Uh oh. Dr. Bacon. Don't boat and drink and drive, or don't drink and boat, or... Ha ha. The wind is always cool and nice at night. I am sobering up now, he says, before he drives his boat into a telephone pole. Beep, beep, beep. Hmm? The radar of the sea people detected something. Oh no. It's the monster sea people, isn't it? But it's not from the water. Just how? Oh, it looks like Vopker still caught the 
hug hearts. Ugh. Yeah, my back is getting stiff. I need to take a break. I am receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally formed. Worth an investigation at night after he's been drinking. Okay. This is odd. What a surprise! A mural in a place like this? Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw in the sea. Let me examine it closely. I mean, this looks like ancient people talking with sea people. A picture of sea people and humans? Is this something that actually happened? And then this might be humans subjugating the sea people? Children of both humans and sea people? Are they hanging out together? That's quite a conclusion to draw, but... Hmm, the sea people are giving some shining fruit to humans, perhaps. There is a device of some sort here. And I think I've seen some of these letters in the mural. Okay, so... We're just gonna go with the red letters, right? So we got this one that looks like person. We got this one that looks kind of like foo. Dr. Bacon the Explorer. And this one looks kind of like key. A tree. So... Person, foo, tree. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna unleash a bunch of human mummy zombie things. Maybe. Bravo, the door is open. It looks dark and creepy, but a true archeologist will never miss this opportunity. Let's see what's inside. I think that's just the booze talking, Dr. Bacon. This is a terrible idea. Going into a cave without letting other people know. That's a lot of skeletons. This place. Look at all these bones and torture devices. I must first examine the mural in the back to find some clues. Or you could come back tomorrow. It looks like the humans collapse after eating the fruit. I don't think the fruit is edible. They look like they're soaked in blood. Humans hunted the sea people. It looks like a lot of them were killed. So, that's what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people, were it not for small misunderstandings, or the fruit killing us. Ruins returned. We're just about done here, I think. But I don't know how long this little side branch is going to take. Probably almost done. Hopefully Dr. Bacon doesn't get his face eaten off by whatever's in this chest. Sea people rebreather. It seems sea people made it for humans. It's from ancient times, but it's sophisticated. Wow, this looks like a sort of breathing apparatus. Maybe a sea people device made for humans. Ruben's mobile at normal mark. Oh no. Like those look like sea people spines. Hmm? What's that noise outside? What? Who is that? Why is he here? Ah, pirates. What are they doing here? Raiding? Back to the boats. How are you going to escape them? How do he turn his boat around?
This is our turf. Give us whatever you have right now. They won't let us go easily if we stop now. Let's get away as far as we can. Uh, we are escaping from pirates now. This is not what I expected to happen. Nope. Uh. I don't know how well Dr. Bacon's gonna get out of this. Oh, oh good, good. Why are the rocks moving? It's a perspective thing. Or magic. One of the two. Okay, well, Dr. Bacon's gonna have a uh, bounty on his head from the pirates now. <laughs> Jump. Woo, I almost fainted. I must take this sea people breathing apparatus for further study. No, Dr. Bacon, it belongs in a museum. And it's sunny again. And today's when Michael Boom shows up. Tenzin told me to talk to Swam at the village. I should check if there are any tasks for me that then head to the Sea People village. Chapter 5. Oh ho, the rice has already grown. There's an odd energy to this region. <laughs> Come on over to the farm. White rice grows quickly. Sure it does. The rice has already grown. Let's try harvesting it. Am I gonna have to mill this rice and everything? Okay, you got the hang of harvesting now, huh? Mm. Yes, but can I plant more rice immediately after harvesting? Mm -hmm. Ah, well, the land needs time to recover, you know. <laughs> you just need to wait half a day, and you'll be able to plant more rice. In any case, rice this quality should satisfy that director guy as well. I should get this to Bancho. Thank you, Oto. Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'll be a waste for crops to fall victim to insects. Uh, okay, so farm sim complete. We have simulated farming. I think for now we can stop the stream. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'll be back tomorrow playing more Splatoon. But I'm about ready to uh, call it quits for now. The uh, little avatars, streaming avatar thing worked pretty well. Worked better than I thought it was going to. So maybe I'll leave it here for now. Yeah, y'all have a good one. I'm out. Bye-bye.